Replay Converter has a bunch of really cool features, and one of them is that it now can create iPhone ringtones really easily. I'm going to show you how. So I've got it open. I'm just going to click on Add Files. It's going to open up my sort of hodgepodge file that I created on my desktop called Replay Converter Files, and it is a bunch of different stuff. Anyway, so I'm going to grab an MP3. Let me grab something kind of fun. Here, I'll grab the Temptations Get Ready. And so it's it's brought it in. It's telling me that it's pending because it hasn't um, been converted yet. I am going to convert it to that same hodgepodge folder I have on my desktop. It's not a video file. It's an audio file. So I'm going to say convert to audio. And then um, I'm going to open uh, the Dropbox to choose my target format. And it um, the iPhone format isn't one of the default formats. So I need to go to Add More Audio Formats. Uh, and I scroll down and sure enough you'll see iPhone ringtone CD quality so I click on that and then click add and then I need to make sure I select it okay so I did that uh, and then just click go it'll bring up my progress bar and uh, start converting for me and there it goes and as soon as it's done Wait a few more seconds. Look how fast it's converting. Okay, so it's now telling me the status is indicating that it's done. So I right click on it. I go back to open current target folder. Click on that. That brings up the very same folder that had my original and now has my converted file. So I need to find where it says, here it is, Temptations, Get Ready. And the suffix for it is M4R. That's the iPhone ringtone format. So I'm going to click on that, double click on it, and it'll bring up my iTunes. And it's added it to my ringtones. And here you can listen to it. So now when I want to add this to my iPhone as a ringtone, I just need to plug in my iPhone and choose. It's that easy to do. So go make some ringtones and rock out.